हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल इंटीग्रेटेड फिजिक्स स्टडीज आईपीएस एस एम ऑलरेडी प्लस टू सेकेंड इयर सिलेबस कंप्लीट कर सारी एवं मुझे प्लस थ्री सी बी ऑनलाइन क्लासेस रो वीडियोस गुड़ा अपलोड करी जदि भल लगे तेल लाइक करदेव और सब्सक्राइब करदेव जो भिडज गुड़ा मुझे अपलोड करी तार नोटिफिकेसन ये बेल आइकन को अल्रे सेट करदेव गोटे इंपोर्टेन्ट जिन भिडर उपर ये जो थ्री डट्स देखु तार क्वाट ये देख बै डिफल्ट थ्री सिक्सट अच्छे तुम ताक पढ़े पार ये एडभांस क्लिक कर तुम रिजल्यूशन बढ़ाई पार प्रति भिडे मुझे पी डी एफ लिंक देवी ये ड्रपडाउन लिस्ट रू तुम क्लिक कर डाउनलोड कर पी डी एफ को लास्ट ये जो मोर चेल नेम अच्छी या क्लिक कर तुम ये प्ले लिस्ट को जाए प्रति भिडज को यूनिट व्वज एज पर सिलबस सजाइक रखे थी तुम सर्च कर पार ओके थैंक यू हेलो स्टूडेंट आज टपिक्रे टपडाउन एंड बटम अफ एप्रोचेस विषय पढ़ा which we have discussed in the previous class where we are studying the synthesis of nanoparticles introduction so basically we have two methods number one is the top down methods means going from bigger size to smaller size okay as you can see in this figure we have taken a bulk material thereby making it to powder form and reaching thereafter the nanoparticles the second method is the bottom up method so going from smaller to bigger so here in this case we go from atomic level then reach or assemble these atoms to reach a cluster and thereby we reach the nanoparticles okay so let us discuss these two methods one by one so first one the top down method okay so here this type of approach is of synthesizing the nanoparticles actually it uses the macroscopic means which are visible okay so macroscopic initial structures and these can be externally controlled in the processing of your nanostructures and typical examples are like your itching through the mask then ball milling then cutting grinding and application of severe plastic deformation photolithography e beam lithography so out of these examples in the upcoming classes we will study some of these okay which are in your syllabus so top down method actually begin with a pattern which is generated on a larger scale then it will be reduced to the nano scale after a sequence of operations which is performed over them right but it has a major drawback okay what is that they require large installations and also huge capital that is huge money is required for building up the setup for the top down method therefore these methods are quite expensive and moreover the growth process is a very time consuming process it is very slow okay hence these methods are not suitable for large scale production but however the top down methods are very suitable for laboratory experimentation okay now these top down approaches are actually based on grinding of the material okay for example as we take suppose raw materials we grind them and make it smaller in size so it is like that okay so here these processes are actually subtractive in nature and the parts of the mechanical devices which are used to shape the objects are stiff and hard okay so these methods are not suitable for soft samples okay so top down approach anticipates the nano devices that they must be built piece by piece in a manner of stages much like manufactured items are made okay so here the spm that is the scanning probe microscopy is an important technique which is used both for synthesis and characterization of the nanomaterials by this top down approach again the afm that is atomic force microscopy okay so afm tips can be used as in nano scale right head okay we have already read about the afm now this afm as it is saying this tip can be used as a nano scale 
right head to deposit a resist which is then followed by an itching process to remove the material in a top down method okay now very high quality thin films can be deposited with nanometer control which is perpendicular to the plane of the substratum okay substratum and this method is called physical vapor deposition in short pvd and in this method the material which is to be deposited is actually evaporated okay is evaporated from the reservoir or sputtered from the target okay now the next thing is that chemical vapor deposition that is in short cvd is also another technique for the synthesis of nanostructures using this top down approach and in this method the precursor precursor means which is a compound that participates in a chemical reaction that produces another compound okay this precursor of the thin layer is a reactive gas or mixture of gases and the substratum is typically heated to accelerate the chemical reaction in order to form a solid product which is deposited as a film now the decomposition can be increased or enhanced with the help of a plasma and in case of mocvd that is metal organic chemical vapor deposition the growth of crystals is by chemical reactions instead of physical deposition as in case of your mbe which is molecular beam epitaxy okay so this mocvd which is also known as vapor phase epitaxy in short mobpe and it takes place not in a vacuum rather it takes place from the gaseous phase at moderate pressures which is about 2 to 100 kilo pascal and this is a suitable technique for growing compound semiconductors from the surface reaction of organic compounds and metal hydrides which are containing the required chemical elements now the ion implantation actually it is used to modify the existing surfaces of the materials and in this method electrostatically charged high energy ions which is having energy around 10 to 100 kilo electron volts so these high energetic ions are directed towards the surface where they arrive with kinetic energy of several orders of magnitude which is higher than the binding energy of the host material okay so they become implanted in a surface layer and this layer may be having thickness of tens of nanometers right now in the top down approach the nano objects which are obtained from larger entities as we have studied in the beginning so these are obtained from larger entities without atomic level control and many technologies that emerged out of the conventional solid state silicon methods for fabricating the microprocessors are now capable of creating the features which is smaller than 100 nanometer which is lying in the domain of your nanotechnology okay so gmr which is the giant magneto resistance and it is based on hard drives which have been already commercialized okay so these are commercialized use of your top down approach and this top down methods can also be used to create nano electro mechanical system in short nems okay now these top down methods use a technique which is called lithography right in which the bulk material is reduced in size to your nano scale pattern and in this top down approach cutting milling and shaping of materials into desired shape and order takes place okay further electron beam lithography and x ray lithography have been developed as an alternative to your photo lithography technique which is used in the top down methods but however the electron beam technique is very expensive okay and also very slow it is a time taking process okay now finally in the top down methods the starting material is generally solid and in this method the material will suffer 
an increase in the surface defects since the material is subjected to the internal stress okay so this was the first method now let us discuss the second one which is the bottom up approach so here the synthesis of nanomaterials actually include the miniaturization of materials okay so here we go from smaller to bigger size okay so miniaturization of material components to your atomic level with further self assembly process which will lead to formation of nanostructures okay so atomic level material will be assembled and will lead to bigger size nanostructures okay now during this self assembly process the physical forces which are operating at the nano scale will combine basic units into the larger stable structures now typical examples are like that of your quantum dot formation during epitaxial growth and formation of nanoparticles from colloidal dispersion then the next one is physical vapor deposition that is pvd and chemical vapor deposition that is cvd okay now in this bottom up approach or bottom up method we start with atoms or molecules now we build the nano structures by the direct manipulation of atoms or molecules so in a very simple layman language you take a brick okay and you assemble brick after brick okay and create a boundary okay so this will be your bottom up approach now in opposite way suppose you are taking a boundary and coming to a brick okay smaller size then it will be a top bottom or top down approach okay now coming back these bottom up methods involve atom by atom molecule by molecule or cluster by cluster manipulation for the synthesis of nanostructures and remember in these bottom up method the starting material is either in liquid state or in gaseous state unlike that of your top down approach where the starting material was in solid state right now these techniques include chemical synthesis self assembly and positional assembly and here dual polarization inferometry is also one of the tool which is suitable for the characterization of self assembled thin films okay and this bottom up approach is based on the principle which is your molecular recognition that is self assembly okay so here self assembly means growing more and more things of one kind from themselves okay as i have given an, an example of making a boundary from bricks okay so here the idea of self assembly that is your in short shake and bake okay is to gather precursors in a random position and orientation and supply energy that is shaking to allow them to sample configuration shape okay so here the hugeness of this space actually suggest that a convergent pathway is inherent in the process in order to allow it to be completed in a reasonable time okay and once the precursors are in position that is called your baking then they may be required to strengthen the bonds which are connecting them and fix the final object permanently okay so finally we are getting the final object okay now many biological system actually exhibit the remarkable capabilities of assembling themselves starting from a randomly arranged mixture of components and you can take an example like that of your bacteriophage virus and proteins also like your rna that is the ribonucleic acids okay where you can see the spontaneous transformation from a random coil of linear polymer to a compact order 
थ्री डी स्ट्रक्चर्स ओके इन सिंपल वर्ड्स सपोज यू गेट एनी कट इन योर स्किन ओके देन यू नो दैट द सेल्स हैज द कैपेबिलिटीज ऑफ हीलिंग दैम सेल्स ओके दिस इज ऑल्सो वन ऑफ द बेस्ट एग्जाम्पल ऑफ सेल्फ असेंबली ओके सो द हेल्थियर सेल्स यूज टू डिवाइड दैम सेल्स ओके एंड दे विल बी सराउंडिंग द कट एरिया और द इन्फेक्टेड एरिया ओके एंड द इन्फेक्टेड एरिया विल बी कवर्ड इन अ कोर्स ऑफ टाइम विद द हेल्दी सेल्स एंड द वूड और द कट विल बी हील्ड अप ओके नाउ इन दिस बॉटम ऑफ अप्रोच द स्टार्टिंग प्रिकॉर्सर्स ऑफ द फाइनल स्ट्रक्चर्स हैव टू बी वेरी केयरफुली डिजाइन ओके दिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट एंड नाउ द हाईली स्पेशलाइज केमिस्ट्री ऑफ लिविंग सिस्टम्स the fragility of many of its products and its inherent variability at many levels have made this self assembly unsuitable for mimicking directly and incorporating into our present industrial system okay now this bottom of approaches should be capable of producing devices in parallel and it should be much cheaper than the top down methods but it could potentially be overwhelmed as the size and complexity of the desired assembly increases right now most useful structure require complex and thermodynamically unlikely arrangement of the atoms so for this the watson crick base pairing and enzyme substrate interaction are notable examples of this self assembly which is based on molecular recognition in biology okay and approaches from the field of classical chemical synthesis also aim at designing the molecules with a well defined shape okay now afm that is atomic force microscope tips can be used as a nano scale right head to deposit a chemical upon a surface in a desired pattern in a process which is called deep pen nano lithography okay so this nano lithography will study in the future lectures okay now coming to the next point in the bottom of method high precision actuators that is the devices having capability to convert electrical energy to mechanical energy and vice versa so these high precision actuators move the atoms from place to place and the micro tips such as afm tips emboss and imprint the materials okay now the electron or ion beams are directed onto the surface at which the device is to be grown up okay now finally if we see in case of your nature okay so nature uses this self assembly technique in a ultra fine way okay natural world is actually self assembled okay this we know in nature spontaneous organization of molecules into stable structurally well defined aggregates of nanometer dimension takes place okay so molecules can be transported to surfaces through liquids to form self assembled mono layers that is single atom thick layers okay and the atomic layer deposition in short ald is one of the bottom up methods where this one is actually very useful in depositing the thin atomic layers on a substrate okay and bottom up methods will provide improved nano structures with less and defect free homogeneous and long and short range orders okay so this these are the various advantages of this bottom up approach over the top down approach okay now finally the two approach top down and bottom up this i have taken from another book also where these are written in a very brief way okay so you can also study it and if you find any valuable points you can add them and make your note accordingly okay thank you